Welcome. Um, it is still Easter holidays, so my daughter is still here, so you probably hear some noise, just letting you know. Um, today is a little bit of a chatty video. Um, I am going to do my favourite reds. Um, every month I'm going to do one video that will be my favourites. Uh, it there will also be a video that is like my favourites of the month, but this is particularly broken down into my favourite, I don't know, eyeshadows for blue eyes, my favourite red lips, as is the case today. Um, I've tried to pick products that aren't discontinued, um, just in case that it was something that you really felt that you couldn't live without, um, because I could just fill this with, with reds that are discontinued. The first one I'd put in would be the red I did with MAC. But there's no point, um, it's not very helpful. So let's start with the one that I wear the most, which is um, Shiseido Nightlife. So this particular lipstick is an orange red. It looks like this. You can see I've put it over something and it needs a little bit of a clean. Hold on one sec. Um, so this is a what, what they call a modern matte. Um, it's an orange red. And what I love about it is how vivid and bright it goes on and how even and how long it lasts. It's incredible. So hold on. I love this red. It's my most worn. I love the shape of the bullet, it's so refined and elegant, it makes it really easy to put on straight from the bullet, which I love. It costs uh, £29, and as I said, it's an orange red. I love an orange red. I also love a blue red, but I just am drawn to the orange reds more. I tend to, you know, disappear off in that direction. So over all my years of doing videos, I always get that comment, Oh, you can wear anything. Well, not anything, but a lot of things. And the reason for that is because I'm a neutral skin tone, which makes it really useful for me to try on a lot of lipsticks across the board because most of them will look okay on me. But that isn't always... Sorry, Ryan just came in. Um, but that that isn't always going to be like that for everyone. So it's really helpful if you know what your undertone is as to what's going to look good on you. So if you if you're olive or if you're... Uh, if you're sort of cool or warm then it's helpful to know and if you're neutral like me and you fall somewhere in the middle then then you get to be lucky with the red lipsticks and wear most of them um, although some will look better than others you know if you find that you struggle with your undertone um, then the best thing you can do is make an appointment at MAC and get them to tell you exactly what your in undertone is then you'll know so let's move on to the next one so this is my most worn red I love it it's so comfortable it's matte, it lasts all day. Uh, this is where my lips hate me because I've got to take it all off many, many times over. <laughs> I'm gonna try and do these as much as I can without um, lip liners. Some of the bullets are a little bit harder to work with, but as much as I can without lip liners so that you see like the true color. Let's keep it easy and we will go in with something that's super wearable. I think of this color as being a bit more of like an entry level red. So for people that, want to wear red but they're a little bit more frightened of it this is a really great place to start so this one is called palazzo and it's from lisa eldridge uh it costs 27 pounds and this is a semi sheer but buildable color um and it's a neutral red so it's it sits somewhere in between all the others so i really in theory you all should be able to wear it So I'm going to start off by putting it on really sheer and I'll just tap it in with my finger. This is a really elegant, really comfortable red and as you can see why I call it sort of the entry level red because it's so easy for everyone to wear. Um, whatever your skin tone, this is going to look great. You can also wear it stronger if you want, so it's buildable. So if you feel a bit more comfortable, you can add a little bit more. So Lisa Eldridge Palazzo, 27 quid, semi-sheer and buildable neutral red. 
Okay, the next one is by Rido. I have a couple of these in here. This one is called Red Armchair. It's 40 quid. It's absolutely beautiful. I mean, the packaging is lovely. It's a real luxury item. Um, very magnetic, very heavy and matte. watercolour um, because it's so flat and matte even though it is very matte it is actually very comfortable um, and because it has that flatness to it you can get that lovely full lip shape with it so this one does make your lips look really super full I think um, so more of a true red there is a bit of a showstopper this one isn't it okay moving on concealer before we start again okay right next where should we go with this one let's do a cheaper one so this one here is by Zara it comes in a mini lipstick and this is six pounds 99 this is creamy and long-lasting and what I love about this one is that it has this like vinyl finish. Sorry, I've done such a shit job with my edges. It's really hard for me to put these on without a lip line. Um, but look, it's got this amazing high shine, but it's not going anywhere. It's a really, really solid, robust lipstick that lasts really well. £6.99 that, and the colour is incredible. This actually has um, a little bit more of, it's edging into the blue red territory. Right, let's do this one really quickly because you were all expecting it. This is a vivid bright coral red. It comes in at 20 quid and it's MAC Lady Danger. So incredible for those with that yellow undertone or the olive undertone, it's gonna look amazing. What a color. Lips are getting sore now. Okay, right, let's do an absolute icon. This is the original Viva Glam one. This lipstick is an absolute icon. Not only is it the original Viva Glam, so 100% of the cost of this lipstick, which is 20 quid, goes to charity, AIDS related charities, um, but it looks so brilliant on so many skin tones. I mean, I don't know if you remember it on RuPaul, so incredible. Um, you can mix it with lip liners, you can get, like, you can do so much with this lipstick. It's actually a brownish blue red, um, but across the board it's a pretty wearable shade. Also, before I take it off completely, the stain on this colour is mesmerising. So once you take off the actual lipstick, you lose a lot of the brownish and you just get this beautiful sort of um, blue-red tint to the lip that's so flattering. It's also a very flattering colour for making teeth look whiter. Not that mine ever look white, because I'm such a massive coffee drinker. Let's do a true blue-red. This one is Inappropriate Red from NARS. Again, this one is so good at making your teeth look white. Um, this lipstick is £23 and it is incredibly matte. You know what's like that but cheaper? This is from Zara and this is called Winner 608 and it's £11.99. A little bit less blue this one. Uh, so the other great thing about this, 11.99, it's refillable. So, and magnetic. And these Zara lipsticks are my favorite thing that Zara do. They're so bloody good. Um, they really are brilliant. Next, last two. <laughs> the whole of the round of my mouth is getting, why 
quite red. Okay. Last two, a bit darker. So let's start with another one from Byredo. So 40 quid. This one is called Transported. And this lipstick is actually created as a neutral red, but a red that will look good on every single skin tone. So if you love the Lisa Eldridge neutral red, but you want something deeper, but with full opacity, this is the way to go. So it's going to look good on everyone. It's uh, called Transported and it is from Byredo. Finally, I've worn her a few times because she's sensational. This is Guinevere from Pat McGrath. I mean, there were quite a few colours like this and I absolutely adore them, um, but I couldn't put them all in. There's a Lisa Eldridge one, which is called Velvet Jazz. There is Mac Diva. There's quite a few that are very, very similar to this. I'm just going to tidy up around the edges because I've made a right old mess. So this is Pat McGrath Guinevere. It is, um, what did I say this was? Pat McGrath, is it 36? Where are you, where are you, where are you? I've lost it. Oh, 36 pounds. Uh, she calls this a blooded crimson, which is a pretty good description, actually. Um, it is matte, very matte. In fact, incredibly matte. Maybe some people might find it a little bit more uncomfortable to wear if you don't like super, super matte. You can always layer a little bit of balm over the top. You should put some blush on. need a little bit of something. This is Azalea from Azalea, Azalea from Rose Ink. Marie Antoinette vibes. My top tip for wearing red lipstick is to keep the rest of your face as ish from makeup as fresh I think I should say as fresh as you possibly can so for me I have on today a tinted moisturizer I'm wearing the ultra violet SPF 50 dream screen in V2 and then you saw I put the azalea on my cheeks I obviously have powdered it and I have concealer under my eyes and then on my eyelids all I have is mascara and a bit of eyebrow and that is it um, the more natural or the more fresh and free of makeup that you keep it, the more elegant and the more you'll be able to get away with the red. So there you go. These are my favourite reds. If you've got any questions about reds for you or about reds that I've used today or anything in particular, um, leave that below this video. If you want to see any of my favourites of anything else, so let's say my favourite false eyelashes or uh, my favourite foundations for dry skin or for oily skin or whatever if you want to see those things please leave them in the comments below um, I've got a lot of videos coming up there's a dewy fresh quick one there is a glam going out one I've got Betty Davis ready to film I have um, uh, new products that have launched this month I have um, my favorite products of the month and um, maybe some other things. So next month I'll do another one of these which will be like my top 10 that I'm currently using. Um, let me know what you want to see and thank you so much for coming over here and getting involved and I'll see you in a couple of days. Okay bye!